Hey guys, how you doing there? This is Joe and Keaton, and uh, yeah, here we are. This is Viscera Cleanup Detail. And it's been a while since we've actually uh, jumped into this one, Keaton, about what? A month or two? I mean, we, we did actually... We did actually play this uh, off the channel, which was supposed to be for the channel. But uh, <laughs> someone forgot to record the audio for that, so that kind of went into the into the vault. But we're back! And there's been a new update. In fact, a couple of new updates since, right? Uh, this is actually one of the new maps. This is the... Uh, Pertinence tunnels? Is that right? So, something like that. Yeah. It's a P, the fancy P, word. The P word. Per, the, the pertinence. P, the, P, the P tunnels. The P tunnels. <laughs> oh. And judging judging by the, the the random stains on this ground, it looks like there's some P stains going on. I think it's supposed to be underwater. Yeah, I think we are. So the new map is uh, the tunnels underwater, it seems. And uh, Alright. Oh. That's jibber jabber. We got a... We got cleaning to do. Yeah, let's clean this up. Um, alright, so this is the, uh... Okay, that's the, uh... Recycle so that's the, bins. That, yeah, that's one of the toxic okay. bins. Okay. That's... I gotta... We gotta find the... Dude, oh, what the tunnels. fuck is this? I, huh? These limbs don't look human, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's an alien. Yeah. Uh... So they're tunnels, alright. Oh, wow. Holy crap. I'm so I actually read the... Here. Yeah, I read the change notes, and apparently this is a smallish... A big map. Water buckets. No, that's what we need, man. Can't do anything about it. The water Here buckets. It. There it is. Oh, sweet! Okay. It's actually built into the wall. That's pretty cool. Wait, Where I think box? don't. No, we might need those. <laughs> ah, we got plenty of boxes. Yeah, there's a lot. There's some of these ra these random cubes here too. Okay. Maybe. All right. Well, I guess it's uh, time to get our hands dirty. God, man, this map is like crazy large. It's, like, it's all right. It's always it's always overwhelming when you jump into the map. So you never actually know, like, where to start. You know, like, look at this. Is this door? Can you actually activate this door? No, I think this door is broken. No, this one is like a some kind of like. Oh, oh you're um, at another door. Never mind. Yeah, it's like a. Yeah, I don't know, man. It looks like you can actually get through this, but maybe not. It's like a trap door of some kind. Where are oh, you? I don't know, but I've got a note. It's always the same. Cleaning up sea creature turds. All goddamn day long. Some are slimy and sticky. Others are slimy and chunky. Some are just plain nasty. I had so much hope when I signed up for that damn space work recruitment program. Sea space, they said. Feel like a man, they said. Hell, I'd have done anything to get off Earth, but I never imagined this would be an option. How did my life come to this? And would that goddamn monster stop banging on the hole shut up? Oh. Oh. Maybe that's maybe this is the hole then. I'm like here, where are you? Um Okay, I can't be uh, <laughs> What the fuck? I've actually lost you. I don't know, I'm in I'm in the uh, I'm in some part of this stuff. Yeah, this tunnel's pretty big. They weren't lying. But yeah, there's like a trapdoor, like a hole. Oh, there's like another one here, look. Like this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, look at this. Do you think we can get in here? Apparently there's a monster under there. Um... Then again, is that just going to lead into, like, the ocean? Because we are, like, surrounded by water, I think. But then again, if there's a monster under there, maybe? I don't know. Who knows nah. how secrets these tunnels? Oh my god, this map just gets bigger and bigger. <laughs> oh, there's the, there's the gun. Yeah. Okay, um... What the fuck is this? Oh, a lantern machine. What? Yeah, that's the uh, the vending machine. Nice. You can get stuff. Alright, ah, so... Goddamn boxes. Since it's going to be impossible for us to clean this whole place, maybe we should just, like, pick an area and just kind of do that. Somewhere that's close by to these, maybe. Like these boxes. Get the F out the way, boxes. I'm going to... I don't know. There's a lot of parts. Yeah, a lot of parts. Oh. Oh, I think I've got it. Okay, my bucket is stuck. Alright, I've got it, I've got it. Does that say anything interesting? You discovered Specimen X two months ago. Wow. A fascinating marine life form that inhabits this planet's oceans. Oh, wow. Unable to determine the sex or spe of the specimen, which leads us to wonder where they came from. Um. Hmm. So apparently there's something huge down here. 
Oh, I bet there is. Apparently, it might be the subject's mother. Oh, really? Interesting. Holy moly. Hmm. Where do we even begin? Yeah, I'm just gonna start in this corner, I think. I think Although, this is probably the best place to start. It has the uh, water thingy and the... Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, just this like main corridor area. Yeah, let's just let's just stick to this. Yeah, let's just stick to this area here. See what it t we'll see where this tunnel ends here. Let's just not go through there until we finish this part, I guess. These legs are stuck in the floor. Dude, it's always trying to write on that wall. What the hell does that say? Cone tart. That's probably wrong. It's probably not uh, even the English language game. It's probably some kind of alien language. In fact, that looks like is that even blood or poop? It uh, looks like donate. Oh fuck! That really does look like donate. Why would the Why would they write donate? Is this some kind of guerrilla donation incentive for the developers of this game? <laughs> please right, <let's>, donate. <laughs> yeah, please. Sales aren't going well on Steam. Oh come on! These legs are stuck in the floor. Just burn. Just throw them straight in, man. I think. In fact, in fact yeah, I'm going to do that first. We're going to throw this alien arm in. <laughs> oh god no! Oh god, am I on fire? Oh, the arm's oh, on fire! Crap! I just grabbed the the torso of this alien and it exploded. Damn! My body went everywhere. Oh, dude, do you think we can like pick up this guy? Like, it won't, they should. Oh. That's what they need to do, man. Introduce like double carry stuff. Because that is not a mechanic, as far as what the fuck. It's is the that a gimp head. mask or a gas mask? That's the alien head. Oh, dude, let me get a good look on this. Let's get back. I want to see that bad boy. Look at that. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, that's the thumbnail. How do I throw with the control pad? I'm using the controller for the first time ever. I'm not oh. sure. Oh, you can drop with B. You drop with B, oh. viewers. Yeah, I'm kicked over my bucket. Oh, I did. Oh. Sorry. Someone kicked over the bucket. Oh. That's all dirty. Sorry. It probably was me. Wasn't me. But do come here. <laughs> Man, I feel I feel like I've been in the I feel loving like deja vu. <laughs> what have you been in an underground uh tunnel surrounded by water before? Quoting well, Shaggy? Yeah, I think I feel like I have, but there's some more writing on the wall over here apparently. This one says join us. Hmm. Ah, one of us. Google gobble. God, there's a lot of food down here. Like, how long was these scientists hiding down here before the monsters came? Maybe they lived with the monsters, and then one day they were like, "Hey, monsters, mm. you need to donate to keep this place going." And uh, the monsters were like, "Gar." And Is this water and, clean? I can't even tell. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe we need to bring some lanterns down here. Actually, I'll go and get one. Oh Use. no, that water is dirty. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't really tell. Burn Damn. the water. I've gotta say, when you do branch off by yourself, it can be pretty scary. <laughs> I've even found a dildo or a paddle. I'm not quite sure what this is. What is this? Uh, uh, I think you might have found the flare. Oh. Is, is it like it's got a, orange? It's got a, it's got a, it's got a ribbed. Yeah, handle. I think that's the yeah. flare. Yeah, it's definitely a flare. <laughs> that's definitely a flare. Although, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm sure someone out there has been, mm. who's looked at a flare and been like, I could put that in my vagina. Oh, you can actually vend dildos. Or oh, solar flares. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I, th I, think we, I think we need to send a memo to the company. Uh, these flares look too phallic. Yeah. Oh, nice. I've got a lantern. Here we go. Oh, Sweet. I don't want to scan it. Oh, God, it's lit. Now these are very these are very explosive, if I recall. So, yep. Don't drop this. Can you imagine if they start adding in like paranormal bits or like when you're carrying a lantern, there's a potential that you could see a ghost in the distance. That you keep ah, kicked over the bucket. Oh damn it! Yeah, we need to start stocking up on these buckets, man. I mean, yeah, it's right there. So. Apparently, didn't they say they introduced a new mechanic with this map? If they I did, I'm not, not I don't sure. Know. I'm not sure what it was. I'm just gonna stock up on these, man. Let's just. Oh, sorry. Oh, did I just give us an arm again? Fuck these machines. 
Yep. Folk these machines, man. I'm gonna try and clean up the uh the area near the incinerator. Maybe we should do that last, because we're probably gonna be running in there. Oh. Back and forth, you know how it is. You know how it is. Can't tell if I'm cleaning. Yeah, it's really that's why I mean. Feel free to go get more lanterns, man, because I can't see shit. Oh, well, God. In fact, that's all I can see. That's that's the problem. Well, it's it's because I'm cleaning up like black stuff. So yeah, I'm cleaning up green green stuff. Like I can't. My broom looks green. I'm actually dirtying the floor. I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's like impossible without like actual light. Yeah, it's uh, really difficult. Oh, that's a body part. Okay. We might need to tag team in some areas, like somebody holds one. Um. Or we'll just go and get more. Throw all these body parts away. Nasty. So many, huh. dude. Yeah, there we go. Look, you can see the green stuff with the line. The UV line really yeah. brings out the green. It's also kind of hard to tell because the floor is so shiny. Yeah. They've definitely done that on purpose, like, go and stock up on lanterns so you can actually see what the fuck you're doing. Oh, I'll just split this guy in two. Oh, yeah. I'll and it's a Saturday head's, night. It's head to be from like D'Lo Brown. <laughs> there he goes. He's in. I oh. wonder if that guy ever got whiplash from doing that thing. <laughs> I like to think so. That was in his intro, right? Like, oh fuck, get in there. So, like, I wonder if he ever pulled his neck muscles and he had to be like, whoa, 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 dude, we're gonna have to go less hard yeah. this time because I just yeah. screwed up my neck. I can't wave my head <laughs> tonight. No he probably, ended it, he probably ended it on uh, TV shows, on live <laughs> events. He was like, nah. Whenever he wasn't on TV, he was in a yeah, neck brace. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Just work for injury every every live taping. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Drop that in. Ah. Oh. I gotta say, I'm not sure how I feel about the lack of vaginas in this episode. Yeah. Apparently people really like the vaginas. Yeah, let's talk about that a little bit, because that's not one of the most viewed videos on the channel for some reason. Well, it's and most definitely our most popular visceral video. So. Yeah, ever. It's probably, People, it's probably the, I don't, you know, I'm not an expert, but I'm willing to bet it's the most popular vis visceral video on YouTube. <laughs> you think, you think maybe it's, uh, came for the vagina stage for the Tengu drop? Hmm. <laughs> I, I wish, I wish. Or maybe, like clock, maybe some phone. other people are like came for the tanker drop stage for the vagina. Yeah, maybe. If you if you if you want the strange uh, fetishes, then this game is for you, I guess. Oh, another body part. Thanks. Ah, oh, to split this guy in two again. <laughs> Not in a good way. Oh, in he goes. In he goes. Ah. These cables remind me the the cables in, in Metroid that lead to the upgrades. Oh yeah. Oh fuck. Oh, is this a body part? Oh, it is. Yeah, it's all these little like intestine parts. They really. Oh, it was a whole leg, just oh, hidden man. in the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> ah! The guy who was dying was crawling away without <laughs> his leg and hid it from the monster. You'll never get all of me. I feel like my mop is getting dirty way quicker than usual. Yeah, I'm thinking that. So, uh, unrelated here, but, um, so, you know, our time differences are way different. So you're recording at night, I'm recording during the day. Mm. And, uh, this happened last year when uh, I remember when we were recording at Dead Space. But it's that time of the year where, where I live, the sun is beaming directly in my face. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so that plus this dark map is not a not a happy camper. Yeah, not a good combination. I need to get like some new blinds or something. I was gonna say, man, get those curtains up or some shit. I, I gotta get like solid blinds too, because if I get like those separated blinds, then it's just gonna concentrate the the light right into my eyes and yeah. Uh, oh fuck! I just realized there's a door back here. 
I think that door is locked. Yeah, I don't think it can be opened. It's definitely locked. Sure. I tried to clean be. the blood, but uh, it's like some infinite blood or something. Oh, I've got to be really careful here not to knock all these off. Oh, fuck. How is that even possible to get that back on there? Maybe I need to like, rest it on and then fuck it close enough. What is this thing? This is like... Is it like a gas canister? Is, that, is it this one? No, that's for the... What are these? Where did these go? Oh, those are the back things that the uh, the guys are wearing. Oh, so nothing to put on the wall. It would have been this. Uh, it's probably really expensive equipment, but fuck it. Yeah, I don't think we can get through there. That's a shame. No, that, that means less to clean. That's true. <laughs> People who like watching these videos to watch us clean, they probably just rather watch us like explore the map. I, I'm not gonna lie, man. I've watched some vis visceral cleanup videos in my time. It's a, oh. uh, you know what? What make you know? And uh, another reason I I really prefer long videos is it's great stuff to have in the background when you're working or something. Yeah, man. You know, so like I love like visceral videos, especially because usually it's just you know people chilling and cleaning yeah. like we are. Just chatting shit. Yeah. Cleaning you know. up. You have the occasional spill, and it's, it's you know. You know, I guess that's when it gets, you know, intense. It's a laugh. That's when, that's when you alt tab to the to the window. You know what I mean? It's like, damn, what's going on? I, I think my favorite kind of videos though are the ones where people take it way too seriously. They're like, God, you kicked over the bucket, idiot! <laughs> Never to clean it all up. I mean, right, you, they don't get that visibly angry, but you know, there's there's people yeah. where you can tell where they're obviously angry. Hmm. God, is he is he a quicker way to like get rid of all this like small paraphernalia? Uh, you could get a one of those bins and just drop everything in. Oh fuck! Of course, that's what they're for. Yeah, good thinking. I might go and bring yeah. a couple of those down actually. Where the fuck is that machine again? Yeah, it's like all the way on the other side. Hmm. Past all these body parts. Oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. Damn. So that gun, is that actually useful? Like, I can't even remember what we used that for last time. Yep, you use that gun to, um, to fill bullet holes. Ah, that's right. That's right, yep. Damn it. Ah. It's a leg stuck under these cubes. Pentacubes. So, so I guess these lanterns just, like, never, like, burn out. Uh, I would hope not. Pick it up! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! God, picking up these at one at a time, man. Oh. What is the... Huh? Oh. What is the multiplayer limit on this again? What's the is what? It... Multiplayer limit? Yeah, like, the amount of players you can bring in on the server. Uh, is it like four, or is it... I'm not map, sure. No, I think you can go like, maybe ten or so. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think I've seen quite a bit of people uh, playing on one map. Yeah. See, that's probably the best way to play it, you know, like a whole fucking, like... You know, gang of you, just like a whole party of people, just yeah. Well, that's assuming everyone's on on you know. I was gonna say, age. could someone you, could you just jump into like, the server like a public one and just cause mischief and just like proper troll and shit. Yeah. Like I'm helping and then just causing messes. Yeah, footprints, man. Somebody would hate that. Yeah. Imagine if, you, imagine if you really did have like OCD kind of thing and you was actually playing this as some kind of exercise or somebody came and did that. It'd probably kill you, wouldn't it? Like, get the fuck out of my room. <laughs> well, there goes four weeks of progress. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, more body parts. I'm gonna say, I do like the sound effects. Swish, the, swish. No, like, the, like the, 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 the ambient sound of like the water and. Uh, you know the tunnel echoes and stuff. Mm. And before you're like, Bro. yeah, that dong sound. Not sure if dong, dong sound. sound. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's <laughs> the right way to put it. But. I don't know. You might be hearing some real life things going on. <laughs> dongs. Maybe. I wonder if that's someone's fear, like uh. You know, when I like playing video games, but I always fear that I'm going to turn around one day and someone's going to have their penis in my face. Mm. Or in my ear. Something. Yeah, I mean, 
I'm sure there's like a fear for penises and like a fear for like, you know, proximity like someone getting close to you but I wonder if there's like a feet like an actual phobia for both like being close to penises yeah um, oh, I, I guess penises would still kind of fit on that category well I mean there's always you know ladies with preferential you know and men I'm sure types or yeah yeah both I should say but you know everyone is beautiful no matter what they I don't say know. Looking at these people on the ground. Hey, Jesus. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure there are some handsome bodies here. You know, a lot of them are covered up. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's some people who find aliens sexy too. I mean, you I know, aspect them. and... Well, that's the thing. I can't... Add an, oh, yeah. Mass effect. Let's, let's talk about that for a moment. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't... A lot of people like Liara, you know, the blue alien. Ah. Yeah, Liara, yeah, yeah, of course. I don't, I I don't see just it. about to mention her. Yeah. I mean, you she's a she's a good character, it. you know, but I don't yeah. I don't know, man. I think it's her tentacle hair. Right, yeah. The fact that her scalp just kind of blends in with like a tentacle hair. Yeah. It must be weird to touch her. Yeah, that's what I mean. It must feel like is it does it, I wonder what it behaves like like I assume I like it's, it's an actual tentacle or something, right? No, no, no. I think, I think it just hangs there. I don't think it actually has like a mind of its own. Oh. I've never seen it move like in the in the Mass Effect universe. Right. Unless she's like running, I guess. But even then you don't really see it move. It's like just stuck. But I don't know if that's like uh, the graphic engine capabilities or the lore of yeah, the, the tentacle that's what hair. I mean. Like mm. I wonder if they're, they're like tentacle uh, styles, like... Like, I mean, like, Liara and the, uh, the other one from, uh, Mass Effect 2. Yeah. You know, they they kind of have that, like, the equivalent, the, the equivalent of, um, like, gelling your hair back, you know? Yeah. But, you know, are there other styles where, like, pigtails, like, tentacle? Mm. <laughs> so, like, you have a tentacle on each side? I think people like Tally as well, don't they? Like, just well, for the mystery. Tally, I don't know. Tali, at this point, I think, because apparently, like, they ruined what her... her yeah, just, apparently just, like, she just looked like a complete human, even though she's not human. Yeah. But I don't know. It, I guess in Tali's case, it's, it's okay, because a lot of that is left to the imagination. Hmm. But, uh... I'm yeah. To... Just in in, ca in in terms of what you see, like, Liara, I, I, I just don't get it. It's, in, in the same respect, I don't get how people, like, find the, uh, the Avatar chick. Uh, hot. Oh yeah. Oh, and, man, uh, man. Jeez, I, man. I know this perfectly through osmosis of knowing or hearing stories. But apparently, yeah, you know the the the, the flashlights, right? Like the flash yeah. with with the vagina. Apparently, oh, there's an avatar uh, themed one. Right. So, yeah, I think I remember seeing that. First off, how do we know that they have the same kind of um, anatomy? And second I off, I, I, mm, really? I don't know. <laughs> That's true. I wonder if it's I like mean, an article somewhere. It's it's hinted, right, that like the the guy and the alien hook up, right? I think yeah. that's safe to say. Do you think that like the alien mating ritual is just so bizarre that he has second thoughts? But did they though? Did he maybe it was just like oh, oh actually we're gonna be spoiling it here, but maybe we shouldn't but I don't know, I, I don't think it's ever clearly said that they do stuff together. Well maybe they must reproduce somehow. You think they just like touch the tree and then they make copies of themselves? Oh, they, that, yeah, the Avatar people do. Yeah, I see. Yeah. yeah. But at, at the mm. same point, I don't think he can. It's not. Does it have I'm, anything to do with the the, the like the, the things on their heads though, or is that just like a spiritual connection type thing? I have no idea. I'm gonna be honest. Mm. It's been a while since I've seen Avatar, so I don't really necessarily. Yeah, I actually, I actually rewatched it uh, not long back. Oh, nice. You still hold mm. up? Yeah. Did you, did you uh, enjoy it initially? Yeah, I did actually. I thought it was pretty. I actually quite liked it. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was alright. Yeah, all I, right. I, I thought it was alright. I didn't think it, it deserved all the hate it got, but uh, mm. I thought it was okay. My name is Benji, so he's fine. Yeah. Hey, By the yeah. way, you can. I don't know if you know. Oh, I don't know what it is on the control, but you can reset the thing, so if it's like starting yeah, to. Dip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can press X and do that, so. Alright. Alright, so this it. section is getting a little clean. Yeah, I'm gonna go get another one. It's still a bit up here, but... Oops. 
I'm actually trying to remember like the, the characters I picked up relationships with in Mass Effect. Like first time round when I played. I think my first one was Ashley, you know, typical yeah. fucking Ashley, you know, you gotta do that. But then like you know, well the second one was different because they kind of they kind of uh they kinda of duped you a little bit because um now what did I do? I can't remember if like I either went with Tally in number two. Right. Or I left it and didn't go over anybody because I wanted to stay loyal to Ashley. Right. But I think by the third one, I think I did go with somebody else. I think I think I went Ashley, <laughs> Tally, and then Liara in the third one maybe. I think I did all three. What am I doing? I'm in a complete wrong part. But I'm, I think, no, I, I, think actually, I actually remember at one time though in the second one, like not going with not going with um, anybody because I wanted to stay loyal to Ashley in yeah. the game, like an idiot. But it it didn't necessarily do anything, right? Like she. Yeah, pretty much. Makes no difference. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think I remember going with the the chick. What's her name? Miranda. In, oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Second yeah. one, just because. Oh, that was it. I, I don't was... know. I, I didn't want to, but I I know already at that point I was keeping with the theme of. Uh, you know, my my shepherd was a, a human. Mm. So he, he dug the human chicks. Yeah, I was like, exactly. well, Miranda's kind of like the only human female, so to speak. I think I tried to get Miranda, it just wouldn't happen. So I ended up going with Tally. I think. Yeah. That is swap. I, think, I yeah. think that was the third one, though. Maybe. Right. I don't think I went with Liara. I think I wanted to get with Liara, but I uh, couldn't do it. <laughs> I think I tried, but I ended up going with Tally instead. I don't know, yeah. I was all confusing, I can't remember what I did, but I, I remember, maybe it actually wasn't my first one. I honestly can't even remember now, man. Maybe I'm just imagining it all wrong. What's fiction and what's reality, I just don't know anymore. <laughs> what did I want to happen and what actually happened? <laughs> I was going to say, which ones were in my dreams and yeah. <laughs> which ones were in reality. <laughs> yeah, it's tough to say. I think I definitely remember getting with Tally though, and then blowing her off in like the third one. I felt bad about it. Cause they used to they, they like they used to like a scene, didn't they? Where they used to be like, you know, they used to like get all upset with you or something. Like. Yeah. Well, yeah, stepped around or whatever. Then they, I think they got mad or something. Yeah. Jack was a uh, Jack was a funny character though. Yeah. I kind of wish I kind of wish I, I was able to learn more about Jack in uh, Mass Effect 2, but like. Mm. I think like Jack's loyalty mission is like the closest you get to her backstory. I always remember the one where you have to choose between Miranda and Jack. Yeah. And I, I chose nobody and fucked myself up for getting with either one of them. So I never actually got with Miranda for that reason. Just because I was on the fence, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck was I supposed to do? Yeah. It's like grow up. It's kind of like uh, Ashley and uh, her whole racism thing. Or, mm. Yeah, racist racism. She 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 thinks lowly of uh, alien species. Yeah, I actually remember that. Yeah, I actually, yeah, that's what put me off. To be honest. Yeah. Holy oh, crap. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty extreme. I kind of I kind of like that uh, it was. Uh, you know, the, the they weren't perfect characters, really. Yeah. I'll be honest though, like. Um, in terms of characters and Bioware games that I definitely went after, I, I remember definitely trying to go for more again in um, Dragon Age. Uh, oh, I never played Dragon Age. So. Yeah, was, the first one was pretty great. Um, I stayed away from the second one just because of what I heard through word of mouth. So apparently right. it's not as good. But apparently okay. uh, Inquisition is supposed to be really good, so... Oh, nice. I can actually... Oh, I've actually nearly done this whole area pretty much. Uh, no, damn you, body parts! I don't think we need to get another one of those bins, so we might as well just like clean up that, this spot here and just never go beyond. Yeah, I'm, I'm making my way up this uh, tunnel. Are oh, you making your way up there now? All right. oh. Give me a fucking arm! <laughs> damn. Oh. Gonna pick up these random cans. There we go. I'm really excited for the next uh, Mass Effect series or uh, game, yeah. whatever they wanna, whatever they're doing. 
I'm just hoping, man. Please don't be a prequel. Please. I'm begging you, by the way, if you're listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> if you just so happen to be watching some random guy's YouTube video about visceral clean or detail. Hey, damn it. Grab the lap, man, not everything else. Stop. There we go. All right. <sighs> I don't know, have they done anything that hinted at it was going to be a sequel? Because that would be kind of redundant, wouldn't it? Like, because they went pretty far with the whole, uh, Reaper thing, as far as I can tell, so... I don't know, man. They've not really said, but... They were like... There was, I think, before it started development, there were just inklings about it being a prequel. Mm. But, um, I'm hoping it's really not. Yeah. I just can't... I don't know, man. I'm not a fan of prequels in general, so... It's only certain, certain, um... Oh, crap. Oh. That's the word I'm looking for when you kind of... You know, there's only certain games that, like... Or franchises that I give a pass to in regards to prequels. Right, like exceptions? Yeah, exceptions. There's only a few exceptions I make. Like Metal Gear, that's okay. Yeah. Speaking of prequels, uh, I don't know if I want to spoil this so early on, but uh, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 yeah. is actually actually a prequel. I read that, yeah. And uh, I was actually looking up the lore, and I'm actually surprised. I'm actually kind of happy that was a prequel, because it actually gives some pretty great backstory or like potential lore to the game. So Yeah, yeah. Bravo to the dev, man. That's uh, really cool. Yeah, I remember reading that, and like, it kind of leads into like the, the original, apparently, or something like that, like it sets yeah. up. It's kind of like a, uh, Saw, th saw uh, whatever, Saw, saw 3 to 4? I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Saw 3, 4, and 5. Yeah. It will blend in. Man, those films get a bad rep. I actually quite enjoyed the stories in those games, uh, those films. Yeah, I, I do kind of like, uh, you know... Uh, the, the, the Saw series, but Saw what, 7, the final chapter, or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, I'm so annoyed. Can, can we spoil that? I'm going to spoil it. Yeah, we can we can spoil it. If you, so, if you haven't seen Saw 7 and you plan to watch it, just stop watching yeah. right now. <laughs> so, I mean, the, 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 the spoiler they went with, or the, the twist they went with was that Gordon, uh, Dr. Gordon was uh, working with Jigsaw all this, all this time. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And don't get me wrong, I was like really happy to see him back. I mean, I wanted him back since like the first one, because he yeah. wasn't in any other film. So I thought it was cool that they actually brought him back, but it was like a bit of a... It was a bit of a weird twist. Yeah. I feel like they did that just for, uh, what do they call it, fan service. Like, they yeah, went exactly, with the fan yeah. theory that... Because every Saw series, whenever they, they would make a new one, pe people would be like, Oh, Dr. Gordon's going to be in this one. Or, you know, somehow Dr. Gordon's going to have a, yeah. uh, you know, a uh, resolution. And for the longest time, the creators were always like, nope, we're, we're never going to touch Dr. Gordon again. Or, you know, we're never going to give well, you... Well, apparently, like, he had, like, a fallout with the producers or something. I guess he made up or it's like, different people. Right. But, I mean, you know, even even in that, re in that space, like, you could have had him come back as a cameo, you know, like... Yeah, Maybe exactly. someone was working with Jigsaw before Amanda... And then you could have, you know, carry you is do his cameo, but for him mm. to be a significant portion ever since Saw One, I feel like. Yeah, it's like yeah. It, it, yeah, I don't know, but you know, so that's the, I I feel in that respect like the, the the Saw fans deserve a better ending than something that is for all intents and purposes was a red, what, what do they call it a retcon, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like a major retcon. Like there, there are some like majority of the Saw series is retcon. Like you know things happen and then they explain it in a in a sequel. But I I don't know. I, I don't I didn't like that. Yeah, I could live with it. It, I was, it, was, it was a bit fan servicey, but I was glad to see him back in a way. Yeah. But um, man, some of the some of the middle films even get a bad rap, and I thought some of them tied together really well. Like when there was like um. You know, like one film was happening at the same exact time as another one, and you didn't realize until the end. And it was like, oh fucking hell! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. I, I, I think, 
I don't. I think a lot of the middle ones are forgettable. Like yeah, like it's hard to to remember what happened. Like I can't remember which saw mm. was the, about healthcare. I can't remember which saw was about the 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 group of people who had to work together. Exactly. Like, yeah, I think three was the guy with the beard, right? Yeah, three was the father. Yeah, four was. I remember there was like was it was a black guy. Black, he was in. Yeah. But was something else happening at the same exact time as that as well? Like, well, four, was group, well, no, was the, four, four was the resolution to what happened to Detective Matthews. Right. Because he was, he had a uh, the lawyer was running what Zep was doing in um saw yeah. one. Yeah. Um. And saw five was healthcare. I and then. Know, and then, and then Saw 6 was the one where everyone was in the same, uh, had to work together, I think. And then Saw Is that the one where they, like, cut their arm, like, right down the middle, was it? And yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the, the, the twist was that if they all just gave up, like, and, like, the same amount of blood that it would have survived. Yeah, yeah, every, every, uh, every test was meant to be done together yeah. yeah 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 so they get a bad rap but actually the story is like and the actual like the con like the continuity was actually pretty commendable to see how many films they were <laughs> yeah 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 it, it was it was i i they, like they went through a lot of different like directors and writers so in some respect i gotta i gotta appreciate what they did like they had to look yeah. at previous films and be like okay so we needed yeah, to bring yeah, up these exactly. points that were addressed in the previous movie. So how can we make them work? And you know, for the most part, they did make them work. But um, yeah, it was a little annoying. I will say another reason why I didn't like saw uh, the final chapter's ending is because they went back to oh, it was another apprentice who was in working in the yeah, he's like oh, it's fucking level one of jigsaws, fucking yeah. yeah. That was like what the third time they used that, and <laughs> yeah, at that point it. you're like, okay, well, how many people did Jigsaw recruit? Recruit, because at this point it's like turning into an army. Yeah, but, exactly. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I would say that uh, recently. I don't know. Did you see uh, Insidious Two? Uh, in Chapter Two? No, I've not seen that one. I saw the first uh, one. Okay. But I will say that they do a little bit with um, going back, you know, to explain right. some of the things that happened, and all right. I don't know. It's a little weird. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll get around to it soon. But yeah, I apparently they're making a Insidious three too. Yeah, so. apparently. I need to see that one before that one. Did you ever see Sinister? Oh yeah, yeah. I love Sinister. Yeah, I it was uh, one. Ethan Hawke, right? That's right. Yeah. 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 It was surprising to see Ethan Hawke doing a movie again. I mean, the last thing yeah. he did was that a uh, vampire movie, right? Like. Oh wow. Well, yeah, I don't day, even know, but Daywalkers was it or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Although he did do that, he did do the follow-up with a uh, Julie Deppley or whatever. Yeah, yeah, after midnight or before yeah. midnight. Yeah, so I guess there yeah, was I really, that. I really enjoyed this series of films. Oh yeah, I I, 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 I remember seeing the uh, the '90s one like so long ago, and I was, I remember I've been uh, I was reminded of it when uh, I saw the movie Waking Life. I don't know if you've seen that. No. It's, uh, it's like an animated movie where they like. They do a lot of rotoscoping. He, uh, the the director for Waking Life was the same director who did a Scanner Darkly, right? The Keanu Reeves film. Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah so he did like I remember, the, do, do he he did a part from one of those uh one of the movies with uh you know Ethan Hawke and Julie Dipley, and right. uh, it was it was a discussion I think of like existist existentialism or whatever I don't know something right and I just remember thinking like yup that was the dialogue that I never got. When I saw it back in the nineties, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but um, he's also been in another film called Boyhood, hasn't he? Like from the same director as he, those films. Oh yeah, I haven't seen um, it yet recently, but I've not seen that one yet. But I will. But uh, yeah, I think we're pretty much doing a good job here. I mean, we've got this area, but this is gonna take like this is like a whole other fucking. <laughs> it's a whole other. Thing clean up all this mess. This guy's name is George Seaman. Oh really? The the mer the marine maintenance technician's name is George Seaman. 
Jesus. Nice. What a yeah. what an appropriate name. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully he's named after the, the Dreamcast game. You would have loved that game. I'm yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> I remember when I played it, I was still like in school and mm. every morning I would wake up and be like, Oh, I gotta I gotta reheat the tank before I go to school. <laughs> and I come home. Oh, I gotta yeah. reheat the tank before I do my homework. <laughs> yeah, no, not a no random microphone. Yeah, I, I'm I'm surprised that nothing came of that. Like it, it was gimmicky as hell, but so good. Yeah. Yeah, I love that game. Another one of the gems on Dreamcast. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't even emulate that game now because... Yeah, because of the microphone and stuff. Like, you can't yeah. even use, like... It, like... You can't even use, like, your own... In, you can't even, like, use a headset like I'm using or anything like that. Yeah. It's literally only compatible with the Dreamcast. <laughs> so it's, like, impossible to emulate, emulate right now, apparently. Yeah. Well, it would be great if, like, some genius could figure that out. I oh, know, man. Imagine that. That'd be great. Imagine if they did release like a H like a HD remaster or something, yeah. with like just standard mic capabilities. Oh, it's a dead end. Huh. Yeah, yeah. I would like to see a, a return to Seaman of some sort. But then again, you know, I think was that Sega who uh, published. Yeah, Sega. Yeah. Like I can't, we can't, we can't even get Sega to release Yakuza games. So yeah, exactly. You know the chances. Man, Sega are so fucking shit. Don't get me started. Oh yeah. Like I could go on for days about how annoyed I am with Sega. Yeah. Like I am one of those that actively supports Yakuza, the Yakuza series. Like I buy every mm. title uh, that they release, except Dead Souls, because I I I refuse to buy Dead Souls because that is not the game I wanted localized. You know, yeah. I wanted a was it Yakuza Five? I think is what we're up to now. We're waiting for. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're just <laughs> we're never gonna get it because Yak uh, Yakuza is not a high seller for Sega. Yeah. But I will say that I think I think it was Sega who yeah Sega Sega just recently released uh, Valkyria Chronicles on PC. They so did, yeah. I don't know. I still have faith in Sega. I think Sega is starting to realize that the PC market. Hmm is their friend <laughs> so and uh there was a uh interview with uh yu suzuki the other day uh talking about uh shenmue 3 and the possibilities of it so that was nice yeah but was, he always talks about shenmue 3 yeah it's literally been the same thing for years now like oh this ain't got the money yep yeah you know. i feel bad for that dude because yeah the fans want it he wants it but sega doesn't mm. want it yeah well, it's not even that Sega doesn't want it, they just don't want to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what, yeah, it's, it's like that for a lot of things with Sega, is like, yeah, mm. we hear that people want it, but we don't want to invest the time and money. Like, th yeah. the thing I don't understand about Sega is, like, the people who want, like, Shenmue and, and Yakuza, they don't care about localization, really. Just slap some subtitles on there and just re-release exactly, it, you know? Man, yeah. But I Sega's like, no, no, we need to localize this. Yeah. I played the old fucking Shenmue 2 on the Dreamcast with subtitles, man. It wasn't until the Xbox that I actually got voiceover. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, who knows? Maybe one day. Maybe one day. I can dream. Best part about the interview was that he says he doesn't. He, he hopes to get it done within the next two games, if possible. <laughs> I was like, you. How about we just get the first one? Yeah. Like the third one, should I say. Because obviously, like, the story is like so many more chapters long he's never going to fit it into one game right. I'm like yeah but i could i could probably do it in two so i hope to, <laughs> i hope to get it done with, with three and four we just need if i tell you something if i was like a billionaire i'd literally put half my money towards making that game well here's a question would you would you accept a shinmu if it was episodic something like uh maybe walking dead or yeah i'd have to accept a shinmu any uh, any form at this point um, I mean, it would be nice to get, you know, I can like the old times. Just shim you free, there it is, boom. That'd be but I mean, amazing. when you when you make it episodic, though, you remove such a important aspect, I think, of uh, Shenmue, yeah. which is the, the freedom aspect, right? Exactly. So I mean, it's like, like would, you, would you take it more linear, less, um, less well, open? I would. I wouldn't like to, but I would. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, if it was pretty much the same gameplay, you know, not some shitty kind of 
visu visual novel, you know what I mean? Right. I just want the same experience as what I had before. Mm. I'd literally take the same exact shit and just, you know, update the graphics on a new console. That's all. That's, I think that's all that anybody wants, to be honest with you. No one's like asking for fucking new gameplay mechanics. <laughs> it's just, just what people just want to finish the story, you know? Yeah. Well, what yeah. if what if he could get it done? But he said, "Well, we have to, we are on a, we're on a huge huge string budget, so it's gonna look like a PlayStation One game." <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd even take it. I'd take it. All right. I'd oh, you anything. heard it here first. <laughs> Dude, it's my favorite game of all time. I wonder, I wonder if like that Sega's game plan is like they're gonna deprive their fans so mm. like so deeply that they're just gonna be like, I don't care. It can look like an eight bit game. I just want to play. It. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it at this point. Yeah, I just don't feel like the day is ever gonna come. But to be fair, I never thought the day would come when Dumb and Dumber Two was out. And look what's out this weekend. <laughs> At least in yeah. the US, apparently the UK releases like fucking December the 19th. What? Oops. I don't know though. Um, do you think that Dumb and Dumber 2 was uh, like a passion project? Or do you think like they did it because, well, what else do they have going for them right now? So I don't, yeah. I don't know, what's the last film I saw Jeff Daniels lead in? Uh, well, he was in HBO's The Newsroom, so... Oh yeah, yeah, I guess so, yeah. There's that. Although that's been canned and there's only six episodes of the last season, so mm. I think it I think it was a bit of both, maybe. Yeah. I mean the fact that the, the, the directors are on board as well, you know. Right. But I feel I've not I don't know, I don't really pay attention to movie reviews anyway. But yeah. um, I've not I've not heard the best things that you just <laughs> kinda of stumble across, you know what I mean, on the internet. But I'm a the original is like one of my favourite films of all time in terms of comedy so I'll see it either way and you know I kind of know it's not you know you're not going to beat the first one let's just yeah especially when you grew up with that humour watching that film over and over again for years and years you're just not going to beat it but it is nice to see it get done regardless yeah. of how it turned out I'll say that well, at least you can see this. The, the final, if, if they never make any more films, at least the final version for the final video, uh, the final movie in the series of Dumb and Dumber movies is not that prequel garbage. Yeah, exactly. I didn't even regard that as anything. <laughs> I didn't even think of it as a movie. I just didn't think of it. It's pretty much the Devil May Cry two of Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like some it of the mask. It, it, it the is same just, shit. Yeah, it is just so crazy how much that was just, uh, like one joke. I'm okay. Many many jokes in that movie don't work, but the one joke I never understood is okay. So, um, one thing that uh that Lloyd does is he does the I like it a lot thing, right? Hmm. Which I always assumed it was from uh, Forrest Gump, but. For some reason, he does it in uh, the prequels, but that takes place in like the eighties. Th that yeah. joke never made sense. <laughs> yeah, it's very really weird. That not to mention that the guy they cast for uh for Lloyd is a he's like a he's like a pretty pretty good looking guy when he's not looking like a total idiot. Yeah, yeah. And the dude had a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a there's a part where. I think you can see like like Lloyd's shirt goes up and he's got a six pack and I'm like what? Yeah, like he's literally filming like Step Up Five like a week after or something. <laughs> it's uh, it's just, uh yeah. And it, it had it had what's his name? You know, Jim's dad in it. I can't remember his oh, name yeah, right now. Yeah, Levenstein. Whatever. Yeah. Oh no, wait, that's his that's the character from Dragon yeah, yeah. Pie. Eugene Levy. That's his name. Yeah, Eugene Levy. I saw. Ah. <sighs> I don't know. I don't even know. Yeah, like I said, I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see it at some point. Alright. Uh, yeah. But this is gonna take us a while, man. We're probably better off if we're leaving this here. <laughs> we've, uh... We've done a lot of talking, we've done a lot of cleaning. And there's a lot more to clean in this room, apparently. I kinda like this. this is the Viscera... Movie... Uh... Game chill out podcast. Yeah, I don't know. I feel, I feel like, I feel like if this takes off, we, we've we've cornered a new market. Yeah, this maybe a podcast we, market. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> I'll put podcast in the title and see if we 
people take notice. What's the punch? Oh, that's the punch automatic, right. Oh god, getting some lazy yep. feet. Incoming floaty alien corpse. Yeah, parts. oh god, you dropped the head. Yep. I'll pick it up. Oh, it's not a head actually, it's like a fire. Or oh, you dropped a panda as well. Yeah, let's dump these in and then uh, we'll call it a day. The zombie, the, the, the zombie's torso you run, like, so you shit your pants? I'm walking. Oh, dude, you just what dropped the hell? Get in the hole, man. There we go. There it is. There it is. But yeah, there it is. <laughs> in more ways than one, because uh, we're going to call it a day there, I guess. And uh, <laughs> it's impossible to clean this whole place. Oh, dude, open it. I've got a, I've got a, I've got a hand that you dropped. Oh. Last thing. Let me give you a hand. Uh. Oh, maybe this, maybe we should put this this in here. It's a thing here. Oh fuck! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not so much. All these like. Right, oh, there's only f there's only four or five things. We'll put these in. <laughs> we'll put. Oh god, I dropped the crisps. Oh, I dropped the can of pop. We're dropping everything. But yeah, there it is. That's this one. Oh, we gotta drop right. the fat beats. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, the podcast style game where we just chat shit. I think that flew somewhere. Where did that fly? Screw it, who cares? But yeah, there it is, Viscera. We'll probably be back to play more of this and chat more random bullshit at some point. But until then, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I guess we'll see you next time. Yeah. Thanks for uh, watching if you watch the whole thing. Hey, yeah. you know what? We, we would love to know your thoughts on all the topics that we talked about in this video. So, you know. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. can leave them in the comment section and uh, maybe we'll have a debate the next time. Yeah, just trying to point any spoilers for the stuff we were talking about in case somebody hasn't oh, seen yeah. them. They haven't got to the part in the video. Hey, yet, man, we why'd you mention that? Oh, cut that whole yeah. bit out. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. Anyway, bye. See you guys. Wait, let's touch, let's touch mop tips. Oh, wait, do that. Let's... Okay, looks like you're scrubbing my balls, you need to aim up a bit. Well, I, I think there's only one animation. But, uh, oh, really? Yeah, we'll just, oh. we'll just pretend, like, oh, or okay. we're just walking to each other. There you go. Alright, yeah. Okay, I'm scrubbing your balls. There it is. Oh, yeah. HR doesn't need to know. Oh, now you're ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs>